Because of the overwhelming support on the channel recently, I'm going to be giving away one of my CC4 titanium white zombies to one lucky winner. And all you've got to do is follow these three simple steps. First of all, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. Second of all, make sure you have dropped a like on today's video and simply comment those details down below. As soon as I do see the channel clock over to 320,000 subscribers, I will be giving this thing away. So best of luck to every single one of you. And yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so after this episode, we are literally going to be inches away from getting ourselves that black dicey wheel. But today we make so much profit sniping so many massive items and teaching you exactly how you can do the same. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always. And we have got episode 11 of the brand new series going from nothing to the black dicey wheel. So, previously we went through the items that right now anyway aren't really that amazing to sell. So if you do want to check out the full playlist, link is going to be down below. But today we make a ton of profit and I'm going to be showcasing just how I did so. And if you are new around here and want to see daily Rocket League trading videos, giveaways and so much more. Because I'm pretty sure we can get the finale out in just a few days time. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications so you don't miss out. You guys normally crush 4,000 likes. But let's just say, if we can get 5k likes, I will try my absolute best to get the Black Dices for the very next episode. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. Quickly, before we do jump into this video, I'd love to give a huge shout out to the fan favorite sponsor on the channel, AOA.com. So I've been working with these guys for several years now, and they're the fastest and most reliable place to pick up any Rocket League item. And by using the code in the description, you're going to get yourself 6% off every single purchase. All right, okay. So jumping into the very first trade, you can see my Rocket League trading post right there. The Crimson Octane, I had it above 5k, but you're going to see on the spreadsheet, recently all oh, this figures drops and i haven't been able to get on this account for literally 72 hours because of two facts it's been so annoying honestly my inventory drops a bit but yeah the white fennec went up so yeah so it's like bad and good at the same time but yeah the fire god right now on the spreadsheet maximum value is 1.7 and we're obviously listing it overnight so this eventually came around and yeah definitely not going to say no to it so yeah whenever you get off rocket league or go offline completely what you want to do is go on rocket league trading post and just list up everything for around the maximum value because you might get lucky and even if people want to pay a little bit less and you're fine with that obviously take that trade and get the credits in because credits right now are so ideal like you can see right here this guy was hungry for credits wanted 1.3 i knocked him down to 1.1 this thing on the spreadsheet is 1.4 to 1.6 but the black oems black well, obviously black dioceses black stones all of those non-crate exotics and non-crate other items are so so easy to sell so yeah i'll probably sell this thing for like 1.6 a complete minimum so next up is going to be an item i didn't expect to be dropping this much because on the spreadsheet it's pretty calm and it's going to be the druid and dragon so right now i do believe it's drops a bit maybe like a few hundred it's 5.3 3 to 5.6, I do believe, something around there. But yeah, I'm actually to pay 4.6. Have you seen that correctly? He wanted an underpay. He said 5k, and then I said, oh, can you go any lower? He said 4.7. I said 4.6, and you've got a deal, and bang. We actually got this. I'm not even joking. Drill Interactions right now, people are listing at like 5k. So if you could pay like 4.6, 4.7, flip it for 5 if you find a spreadsheet warrior, you are going to be absolutely set. And yeah, honestly, it's no joke whatsoever about these black exotic wheels and black very rare wheels and black uncommon wheels as well. I'm pretty sure you can get them in, and it's going to be oems they are so so good at the moment and yeah i can flip them for so much profit every single time so purple dracos on the spreadsheet about a k but realistically the dracos don't really have that much hype right now the white ones are a struggle to sell and i'm also getting myself 700 credits so put that in spreadsheet value that is 1700 credits we're getting in a total of 600 credits profit from one wheel like that is what i mean they are so incredibly good you should give them a try and honestly i don't really want to waste time because i've got the drilling dragons which is hard to sell the crims noxane is i can't even put into words how hard it is to sell right now and obviously the other stuff is going to be really cheap so getting rid of these purple drakers for 1k is fine with me literally every single post i saw like someone have credits i just said purple drakers 1k and eventually found per found a person should i say that wanted to buy them so it's a really simple deed but yeah we'll definitely take it so yeah honestly right now there's not really that much going on in the market there's nothing really going up except from white fennec and white mainframe those are the main two like black standard was going up but that's slowed down now and i just thought you know what we're going to buy fennec for 300 under the minimum value because i can recommend that with black markets octanes paying 300 under the min you are guaranteed profit pretty much so yeah the gray one on the spreadsheet 1.7 to 1.9 actually went up a little bit recently because of white and yeah obviously paying 1.4 definitely not gonna say no and yeah even if we get ourselves the minimum value like i said already 300 credits profit in our pocket so the power that credits hold right now is ridiculous i've never seen the market so hungry for credits in my life so basically i put up the credits right there i've got a handful right now just saying one offers and this came through like if you just say one overpays as well it can probably help even more but this guy came through with some black alchemist one in 1.5k 
I checked the spreadsheet. They are over two. And looking on Rocket League trading posts, I see people offering like 3k stuff like, I don't even know, like Sky Blue Octane, Sky Blue Fennec. So, I don't know how we got this trade, but that's what I mean. All you've got to do, be consistent on Rocket League trading posts, list every 10 minutes, and obviously you're more likely to get offers just like this. I've had an extremely easy time to sell Blackstones and Black OEMs in the past. So, what we're going to be doing right now, once again, is sticking to what we know. Because the market right now is a bit of a madness. Everything's going up and down all over the place. So, sticking to what you know is always going to be a massive W most of the time. So, you know, buying this right here for 1k is completely fine with me. The uncommon version is the same as the very rate on the spreadsheet, 1.2 to 1.4. But yes, again, I could probably get myself over the maximum value just for the fact that Black Wheels, if you're patient with them, if they're from the non crate series, you are going to be set if they've got a demand. So honestly, the main motivation with this Duel and Dragons right here was to find a spreadsheet warrior. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a person that literally just goes off the spreadsheet for every single value in the game, which is not correct to be fair, because when the alpha cap was rising, let's just say when it was like 200k and actually selling 300k, they would look at the spreadsheet and be like, oh, it's only worth 200k, I'm not paying that. And basically, it's the same example for smaller traders, but this guy pretty much said he wanted to pay a little bit less than the minimum value, which is 50 credits less, which is completely fine with me, making myself 650 credits profit from one single black market. Okay, so moving on to the closest L I've taken in this series so far, as we make ourselves 50 credits profit from three trades, and it's going to be for the Crimson Octane. So first of all, we bought some white Dracos for what, uh, I think it was 4,150, then obviously sold it for the Crimson Octane. Then my account pretty much got locked for three days, got back on it, and saw the, pre like, look at that spreadsheet. I, yeah, I've got no words. Like, what is going on with the Crimson Octane? So literally, uh, people were looking for like 4k, so I said 4.2, this guy said yes, and finally we got it gone. So we made ourselves 50 credits profit, but definitely was not worth it. So yeah, considering the fact that right now there's only two items, like I said, that are really rising that high, and I can't really afford them, I just thought, you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and buy something that's safe, and just sit with it, because paying this sort of price is definitely gonna be a massive W. This guy wanted 1.4, I left the game, he invited me straight back, and obviously we got a 1.2 right here, so yeah, this thing on the spreadsheet, 1.5 to 1.7, and it's tactician for the pink, and considering the fact that Phoenix have been pretty even right now, we'll definitely take the safe trade. And yeah, honestly, yes again, another really basic trade, because I don't want to make anything too rational, because if something starts dropping really quickly, we are going to be in trouble. But we have got ourselves 6,100 credits after this trade. We've got four painted phoenix. We've got the white one, crimson, tactician pink, and also the gray one. Then we've got both those black wheels right there. So in total, I think that's added up to be close to 40k, if not 40,000 credits. And I saw a sweeper go for 38. So that makes me question what's going to happen. Because I feel like I can get a black dice right now. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see in the very next episode. So yeah, that is going to be the final trade. And if you do not want to miss out on the finale in probably just a few days, make sure I subscribe into the channel and turn on your post notifications. So I believe in every single one of you. Let's go for 5k thumbs up and I'll definitely make another episode very, very soon. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow.